Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Today we celebrate Memorial Day. Memorial Day was once called Decoration Day, first widely observed over 150 years ago, May 30th, 1868. This day traces its roots to an order set by Major General John A. Logan, the leader of a union, of a union veterans organization and congressman. In his letter, Logan made a case and set the precedent for a holiday in memory of soldiers who died to preserve the Union and break the chains of slavery. It is always meaningful to memorialize those who sacrifice in the name of our nation, but to use your first acts of freedom to honor the fallen is astonishingly selfless, deeply patriotic, and exceedingly inspiring. And although Decoration Day is the official origin of our modern Memorial Day, it has developed a greater meaning after World War I and became a day when we honor all of America's war dead. We lay wreaths, adorn the graves of our veterans with flags, assemble parades, eat a hot dog or two, and spend precious time with our family. It is a day when we honor those who fought and died to preserve our nation, a nation not of a particular people, but of an idea, an idea that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If ever there was an idea worth dying for, it is this. And equality, freedom, and opportunity are its gifts that are preserved by the brave individuals we honor today. What do we owe these brave few? How do we repay their eternal debt? We owe them this day, of course, but we must honor them each and every day by using the gifts that they have given us to create a better world, a stronger nation, and a kinder community. We can exercise our freedoms with great care for one another and for the future of our children. We can responsibly take advantage of the many opportunities this land gives us. We can use our talents, the benefits of our fortune, and the love in our hearts to enrich the lives of those around us. We can and must, as Americans, aspire to create a better and kinder tomorrow. Using these gifts secured by the greatest sacrifice to not only do good, but to be good, is the closest we may come to repaying their invaluable and eternal gift. We owe them more than can ever be repaid, but we must try. But tomorrow and all the days that follow, let us keep their sacrifice in our hearts as we strive to honor them by being good and true, hopeful and strong, and by committing to building a brighter future. May God hold them and their families in the palm of his hand. May his grace shower all of us, and may he continue to bless the United States of America and all those in service to her. And may we never forget the greatest sacrifice of all, when God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for the sins of the world, giving us the choice of salvation through obedience of our Heavenly Father.